Hello, welcome to physics. Uh, this is really this is really weird. Um, I have never done uh, a video like this, um, and I know that this is going to be one of many videos. So let me just sort of start off by saying hello. My name is Mr. Lehman. I am your physics teacher for this year. Um, this is going to be probably one of the strangest. Uh, things that I have ever done as a teacher, probably the strangest, uh, one of the strangest things you've ever done as a student in going to school during a COVID kind of world. Um, so just to kind of uh, uh, get right to the point, let me sort of talk about what we are going to be doing differently this year and what these, uh, what the purpose of these videos is going to be, how they're going to work um, in conjunction with what we do in class. So. Just a little bit of a background. Um, over the summer, um, teachers uh, here at Southside uh, met together at various points as departments, so science department, history department, and we began to brainstorm and talk about ideas for the coming year. What would our classrooms look like? What would our lessons look like? Um, how would we present information? How would we teach, basically, in a world in which um, you know there's a really good possibility we will not be in school the entire uh, year, that we will be out for significant sections of the year um, and be pushed into uh, digital delivery of instruction, so basically digital learning. Um, but to be really specific, digital learning that was much better and much more effective than what we had in uh, the fall semester. Um, so we began to brainstorm and talk about different ideas, things that we could do, and something that kept coming up um, was this idea of a flipped classroom. And I'm going to give just a real brief explanation of what a flipped classroom means to me, Mr. Lehman. Um, just understand that my definition of a flipped classroom and some other teacher's definition of a flipped classroom may share some similarities, but they will probably be different. So don't take mine as this is the way the flipped classroom has to be done. It's just this is the way Mr. Lehman does his flipped classroom. Um, so what is a flipped classroom? Okay, think about a traditional classroom. You come in, um, you sit at your desk, you take notes, the teacher you know, maybe does a PowerPoint presentation, something like that, works problems on the board, and then presents you with work to do at home. Okay, that is a traditional um, model of, of, how, of how teachers have done education and students have learned um, to varying degrees of effectiveness. In the flipped classroom model, you essentially take those two ideas and, as the name says, you flip them, okay? Why would we do a flipped classroom model? A um, couple of reasons. One, COVID-19, okay? There is a significant portion, not only of our student population that will not be in school for the full year and will be doing di some kind of a digital instruction, there will be probably times in which we may have to be out of school due to positive cases. Um, we're gonna do our best to prevent that. We are doing everything that we can to be as safe as possible. Obviously, that means masking up, um, you'll notice that I'm talking without a mask in the middle of a classroom. The only reason I can do that is because there's nobody in here. Um, I'm being as safe and effective as possible. Um, so going back to then why the flipped classroom model or what that means for us, the reason that it's effective is that one, it allows for students that who are not in the classroom to learn as effectively as you guys have. Uh, two, it's a pretty good model even in a non-COVID world. The idea being we take what we do normally in classroom, which is lecture and take notes and do kind of, let's be honest, a little bit of some of the boring stuff. And we allow you guys to do that at your own pace. We allow it to do it at your own time frame at home um, in short segments, video segments, um, which I'll talk a little bit more about that here in a second. Um, and then that allows us time when you guys are in class or when you are just working on work um, to be able to ask questions. Okay, last year um, and for many years previously, I found that the most effective time that a student spent in my class was when they were asking questions and working with me. Students, I, I would see students make leaps and bounds ahead in their knowledge when they were able to, you know, go one on one and say, "Hey, Mr. Lehman, can you help me with this or help me explain or help explain what this is doing?" And nine times out of ten, when I was able to offer them help, it made a lot more sense to them, and they did a lot better going forward. The issues came when students weren't asking questions. Um, and so 
honestly, this year, as, as we were getting to plan this, I started looking at the flipped classroom just kind of as something to add on or to do differently, just to get ideas. And when I began to process, you know, how much work would be involved on my part, not just a whole lot of work, not a whole lot of extra work, I realized that this is a really good model. This is something that we can do that is doable as a class and is going to improve your guys' learning, I think, you know, far and away more than, than it could have, uh, than we could have ever done if we just did a traditional classroom model um, like you guys might have been used to. Um, so how do the videos tie into that? And you'll notice that I'm looking at my watch. Um, the way that we are planning on this working, or the way that I am planning on this working, is that I will create a series of videos for every single unit that we do. Now we'll have several units throughout the year, you know, several dozen units, um, or I should say maybe about a half dozen big units and then sort of smaller units in each of those. So we'll talk about, for example, electricity, but then we'll have a, a section on magnetism, and we'll have a section on electric motors, and we'll have a section on electric circuits, that kind of thing. Um, and in each of those sections, I will post a series of videos. And, and you'll get more information about this through our Schoology page. Um, and I'll probably do another follow-up video after this um, to, to offer a little bit more um, explanation. But your time at home will pretty much be spent on taking notes and just watching this information. And like I said, I'm going to try and put it in really bite-sized chunks, um, at least about five minutes. Uh, but probably no more than about 15 minutes at the most. And that might be kind of the longer form video. So anywhere from, let's say, 7 to 12 minutes, maybe like a 10 minute average um, for some of these videos. Okay, Not a huge commitment. Um, there will be more videos in, uh, in some units than there will be in others. Um, but they will still be very, very doable. Um, obviously, this is very flexible as well. So don't expect that uh, the way that we're doing things right at this very moment is the way that it's going to be done six weeks, 12 weeks, a semester from now. Okay, we may change as we go along, but that change is going to reflect um, what works best for you guys. If I find that a certain type of video or certain video length works better, if I find that certain types of problems work really well, then or, or maybe some extra videos to help with problem solving, we can we can be flexible with it. Okay, the whole idea of a flipped classroom is to is to swap the two the two things um, that you do in most classrooms in and out and move those into their own, in, into each other's realm in order to help you guys learn better and, and give you more opportunities to have really deep, rich learning experiences that are not so much focused on sitting there and being quiet, but are more focused on you actually learning. So that's the idea. Um, I'm going to do my best to, to, to uh, make sure that that works. Um, so yeah, I think this is going to be really good. Uh, so in the next video, um, I will talk a little bit more about um, sort of the topics that we have coming up for the first unit. Um, and that uh, hopefully will give us a, a little bit more clarity about uh, what's going to be happening. All right? Thanks, guys.